medial collateral and lateral collateral ligaments. So to find the medial collateral, the best idea is to put their knee in flexion and find the joint line. You know, remember how we just found the joint line above the level of the tuberosity level with the apex of the patella, okay? And once you're in the joint line, it, on the medial side, just run your finger backwards in the joint line. And when you feel your fingers pushed out of the joint line, you know you're up on the medial collateral ligament. So that's it there. And you can feel it up to its proximal, in, um, its origin, up on the medial epicondyle, and down to its distal insertion down on the pes anserine. Okay? So that's the medial collateral. Lateral collateral, I'll do this leg so you can see. Usually I put them in Taylor's position because it stresses the ligament and makes it um, stand out more. Just run your hand up along until you find the head of the fibula level again with the tibial tuberosity. And then above the head of the fibula coming off the apex of the fibula, you should feel that lateral collateral ligament as a really ropey band over the lateral aspect of the joint. Okay.